Welcome to the Cat Power Podcast, where we deliver powerful insights into the world of Cat Marine, showcasing the latest in technological advancements and highlighting the stories of the industry's most dynamic leaders. I'm your host, Sergio Tijera. Now let's get ready to power up with the Cat Power Podcast. And welcome to the Cat Power Podcast. My name is Sergio Tijera. I'm your host. And each and every episode, we have different leaders and industry people who have tremendous experience and are ready to lend the knowledge uh, for you to have a better career, a better industry, a better business. And today is no exception. We have Jamie McDonald. He's here from Gregory Pool. He's a marine account manager with 17 years experience. And he was also a captain uh, for many years. So welcome, Jamie, to the show. Good morning. It's good to see you. Excellent. And Jamie, you're coming from the West Palm Beach Boat Show, right? Yep. I uh, just got in last night. Uh, today is the start of the, the 2021 Palm Beach Show. We're very excited um, with everything that happened uh, last year. Um, we're really excited to, to get out and see some of our customers and support some of our, uh, our, our OEMs. Um, so starts in just a, a little bit, about uh, an hour and a half away. Well, that's exciting. So this is one of the first boat shows to come back, right? And so 2020 was obviously uh, an exceptional year, a very uh, different year for, for all intents and purposes. A lot of industries uh, benefited, a lot of industries didn't benefit. Tell me about the marine industry, especially around pleasure craft, because that really took off. People, I think, were, were looking to find a way to escape and just to get out. <laughs> Tell me a bit about that. Absolutely. It's a great question. Um, so January 2020 and February um, were very good months in, in, in the marine industry. We were down at the uh, Miami uh, Boat Show in 2020, February, right around uh, Valentine's Day. And the pandemic had not uh, had not really got its teeth into us yet. And then come March, our industry just fell. Um, it just... Uh, it just stopped. We got very nervous. We all went into uh, hunker down mode. And then I think it was about a six week hiatus. All of a sudden the, the floodgates opened. And like you said, the marine industry has just been uh, gangbusters. Um, the amount of uh, calls and interest and um, service level has just gone through the roof uh, for people that currently own boats and people that want to get into boats. Um, you know, Marine is one of those things that during this, this very interesting year that we had, uh, it was a way for people to get out and still be with family and friends, but in their little, their bubble. And so, uh, we really prospered from, from what happened. So Jamie, your, your life, uh, prior to cat and Gregory pool, you were a captain. So what attracted you towards the water, towards the lifestyle and towards the industry? So I, I, I'm from uh, Eastern North Carolina. Uh, some people call it the, the Outer Banks. Um, so growing up around the water, I was fortunate to grow up uh, with a family that, that had a number of boats and just fell in love with being around the water. I uh, went to school to, uh, for a design degree. I was uh, getting a, a design degree at Virginia Tech, which uh, geographically for people that don't know that is in the middle of the mountains. And uh, I got very, <laughs> it's not on the coast. You no, know, I got very homesick. and. Uh, um, well, I won't say homesick as much as uh, just miss the coast. And so yeah. uh, my last two years, I interned for Hatter Scotts and I was a design engineer intern with them. And um, uh, that's where I was introduced to Caterpillar. So uh, my last two years of school uh, was introduced to Gregory Pool and then Caterpillar at the, at the same time. And uh, when when I needed to find something uh, at post uh, education that it's where I came on with Gregory Pool. And so you've been fortunate enough to do something in your life as a career each and every day that you're very passionate about. Absolutely. I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things that um, I, I know Caterpillar is a, a multi-billion dollar uh, business. They do all facets of machine and mining and all other types of, of core industries. But my passion is marine, um, Just just the... The camaraderie that we have, um, we're a really tight knit group. Um, I, speaking of the group, uh, it is the dealer network. Uh, I really, we pride ourselves in Marine. We, we have a core group of uh, Pleasure Craft Marine dealers that we all work together very, very closely. And um, yeah, Marine is, is I, I really, really enjoy it. Being excellent at, at what you do in life is very important. 
because other people and other industries, other companies are relying on you. And the company you keep, you know, as the famous saying goes, show me the, the five people you hang out with most and I'll tell you, you know, uh, about you. That's very, very important, especially in this world where businesses are relying on you guys to make sure that in the pinch, in the critical moments, that they got people they can count on and rely on. So in in life, you know, surprises are, are fun, you know, absolutely. but in business, <laughs> they're absolutely not. And you need to have people you can rely on. Well, it, our industry is so much relationship driven. Um, it is not about... Uh, Yes, there is the, the the price and there's the 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 product and things like that, but there's so much more about the relationship. And right. in our industry, pleasure craft is a it's it's a it's a passion for some of these owners. So uh, you just have to make sure you deliver that that ultimate experience, that that great level of service, um, and that's where you're going to succeed. Yeah, so you, you pay you you get what you pay for uh, essentially in life. Um, you have a great story having grown up with the Hatteras brand, having interned there, and then also having, you know, the experience with Gregory Poole. Tell me about this, this Hatteras story that I hear so much about, uh, the filter story. I, I want to get into that a little bit. Yeah. So one of the, it, it was an interesting, uh, uh, captain Nick Millsap, he runs a, uh, a currently now it's a, uh, 65 foot Hatteras, uh, convertible sport fish. But um, back then it was a 63 and we were actually at an event for Hatteras down in Palm Beach uh, a number of years ago and he was having a sitting issue and we had sent down numerous texts. We had some other cat dealers looking at it. We could not really pinpoint what the, the, the resultant soot was coming from. So at a subsequent uh, boat show, I believe it was a, a Lauderdale boat show, uh, Tim Styform with Cat Filtration uh, I got him to meet Nick and they talked and I let them have a, a you know, their little one-on-one -on -one and I didn't really think anything of it. Well, then shortly, I think it was, uh, I don't know, six weeks later, um, uh, Tim had a package of uh, custom made filters to try on Nick's boat. And it was just such a success. It, uh, it uh, um, helped with his uh, sitting issue, um, some other issues that he was having. And it was really a, a testament to someone at Caterpillar listening to the customer. He had a, a true complaint and it was something that Tim actually could address. And now the nice thing is this part is now available through the whole uh, network. It's now the, they call it the UHE plus filter, but um, it was all derived out of uh, just a customer's complaint, a need and uh, Cat delivered a, a phenomenal solution. They say we have we have two ears and one mouth and we should use them accordingly, right? Absolutely. So, <laughs> listening to the customers is is always so critical. Um, at times, you know, we get we get busy and so forth, but you never know how your actions are going to land and the impact that they're going to have. Same thing with your words and and the and the attention you give to someone, because you never know where they're coming from and you know the issues that they're having and how you can impact them through your network, right? You just happen to be at the boat show, happen to introduce somebody, you didn't think much of it. And look at look at what happened, right? The butterfly's wings creates a, a hurricane on the other side of the world. Absolutely, absolutely. Interesting. And so now these these filters are on the C thirty twos that are coming out, right? And both horsepowers are available there as well as retrofit. That's correct. Yeah. So it's one of these things that it not only is it going to help going forward with new product, but it's perfect for some of the legacy product that's out there. Um, it is a, it, it's got a lot of technology built into it. It's got more filter, uh, capacity. So it actually traps more, uh, sediment, you know, fuel quality is questionable as some of these boats travel. That's one of the biggest things for, for that team. Um, the, the rascal, they travel to Costa Rica and the Bahamas, and then they spend, uh, the summer in the Gulf. And so they're traveling, picking up fuel that, that unfortunately they can't control what they're picking, putting in the, uh, the tank. So having that extra, uh, you know, safe safeguard built into the filter has been great. So um, it, it, it really was just a great experience to see uh, a team at CAT come together and, and deliver, um, again, the word I'll use is solution. Um, and it was, it was very well uh, represented. So Jamie, as, as, a, as a captain in your, in your former life, 
and living off the coast of uh, you know the Outer Banks and so forth, which I know is 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 horrendous. You know, has a tremendous reputation for horrendous weather sometimes as well, right? When you're way out there, what? Give me a story of what it's like to be in some of these conditions. Where did you ever you know have such a bad condition out there that you said, oh my gosh, that you know this could be it, or <laughs> this wasn't such a good idea to be out here. <laughs> Uh, more than I can uh, care to, to rem remember, but yes, uh, it, part of the, the job is I've actually picked up my captain's license and I've been able to uh, uh, run a, a few vessels. And there have been a couple of cases um, where actually I was running a vessel for Caterpillar uh, from the, we were at the Annapolis boat show and we were running to Norfolk and we were in a terrible north wind and um, we had to make it to the next port for, for another uh, event. And um, we had a very close call with, uh, um, you know, I want to call it a rogue wave, but a, a, a very strong wave busted out our enclosure. We lost all of our electronics and um, wow. we knew what coordinates we needed to be going. We knew what uh, compass heading. So we just kept going and finally made it there. But um, yeah, it's, it's one of those situations that uh, even inside the Chesapeake Bay, which you know, people think is, uh, you know, an, an inland body of water. No, it's not. <laughs> wow. Cause it's that big and it, it still has a lot of uh, turbulence and currents and things like that. Right. Yep. And again, and you mentioned about the outer banks, that's, um, it's definitely, uh, it can be some of the most tranquil waters and it can be some of the most treacherous as well. Um, and with my, uh, just my background with Hatteras, I've been, I've been fortunate to be on a lot of sea trials and some of their vessels and it's, uh, it, it's comforting to have uh, so much uh, density underneath you. So when, as, as technology continues to progress, uh, we're, we're trying to squeeze more and more out of technology, out of horsepower, out of kind of redundant systems and safety and so forth. You know, what are you seeing as, as some of the, the, the leading technologies that are coming, you know, some of the most important ones that have come out um, that customers are asking for? Yeah, so we are really, really excited about the C32B program that is uh, that is being launched right now. It is uh, it's it's taken a lot of those things you mentioned, a lot of the technology that's cat cats developed. Uh, the MUEC injection system is going to give us uh, a quieter operation. Um, a lot of our customers are fishing boats, so when I call it a convertible, it's basically a it's a sport fish vessel, and these guys are are offshore for ten hours a day. And to listen to a, a very droney engine, it can be quite uh, difficult at the end of the day. Um, so having some of these new technologies like the MUEC fuel system um, and, uh, you know, other technological pieces that are in this engine are going to be really helpful going forward. Um, the biggest thing for us, though, is horsepower. Um, it being able to have a V12 that is going to be class leading for the amount of power that it develops is going to be a huge uh, win for Caterpillar. Fantastic. And so your plans, you're, you're out there at the boat show and uh, you guys have some booths set up. You're excited to be around customers again. Um, how big of a crowd are you guys expecting out there now? And, uh, and what do you think the environment's going to be like? Uh, I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, we, we've all talked to our OEMs. There's a lot of them that have traveled this show that they haven't been out in a year. Um, there's, I'm, I'm, again, optimistic that there's some pent up demand uh and that there's really some excitement out there i mean for us being able to come into the show with the c32b uh launching um it is going to be here uh it's in the booth um we've got you know a, a team from caterpillar factory and again the, the dealers that are all here supporting each other um we're really really excited about this show that's going to be fantastic well i'm in miami i might have to just drive up there uh for <laughs> West on East, on. Only an hour and a half on on so oh, fantastic. And so um, tell me a bit more about Gregory Poole. I know this is one of the the, the longest and most you know established dealers out there. I think all dealers, <laughs> all cat dealers are, are very established and um, and, you know, leading the pack in terms of supporting the client, uh, supporting the customer. Tell me a bit more about about the dealership and and uh, and your experience there. Well, it, it's um, I think Gregory Pool Marine is unique in its geographical location. We we are really uh, fortunate to have so many boat builders uh, in our our territory, so we we benefit from that. 
Um, but we also benefit from our ownership. Uh, the, our Mr. Poole himself is a very, um, uh, he, he loves the, the marine business. And, and because of that, it, it translates down. Um, he's, there's a lot of focus on marine and it's a lot about the customer support. Uh, you mentioned it earlier in the podcast, just about being able to deliver that customer experience and, and, and listening to the customer. And, and that's very much what Mr. Poole's instilled in all of us. Um, so it's geographically, we don't have the largest territory, but, uh, we, we like to, to say that we you get the um, deepest yes. in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. So Jamie, when, when you're not on the water, when you're, when your feet are on land, what do you do? What, what do you love to do? Uh, you know, hobbies, family, uh, things like that. What's funny. Um, actually my hobby is also on the water. I've gotten in the last <laughs> few years into kiteboarding and, um, I, uh, I, love to kiteboard. So um, it actually goes pretty hand in hand with running a boat or being a captain is that good days uh, on the water are normally the calm days. And so when it's really rough and windy, I can be out there on my kiteboard and, and um, just try to That's see if I can break another uh, record. <laughs> you got it all figured out. Are you doing it competitively? No, I, I just uh, competitively with some friends. Um, so awesome. we, it's all bragging rights. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Jamie, buddy, I'll let you go. I know you got to run to the boat show. Um, thank you so much for having, uh, to, for thank being you. on the, the Cat Power podcast. This is fantastic. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Take care, guys. All right. See ya. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow and rate us. And be sure to share it with a friend so that you can power up their life and their career.